Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect chocolate covered strawberry. Now Valentine's Day is coming up and I love chocolate covered strawberries, but it doesn't mean I only eat them on Valentine's Day because I eat them all year round. And of course I love to make them myself and I'm going to show you guys how to do a foolproof recipe today. These come out perfect every single time, I'm going to show you how to do it. You're going to start with some fresh strawberries, of course. And then I use milk chocolate chips, but if you like a darker chocolate, you can use bittersweet or semi-sweet. I just happen to love milk chocolate. And a little vegetable oil, two teaspoons. Now, the reason why I'm using vegetable oil is totally flavorless, but the vegetable oil is going to give me that beautiful shine on the kind of coating the chocolate a little bit. It's perfect every single time. Okay. First, you want to make sure your strawberries are totally clean and dry. If they're wet, they're not going to get the chocolate. The chocolate just won't stick to them. So if they're wet, forget it. Now, we're going to do a double boiler. All that is is a little pot with about an inch or so of water. And you want to put a heat proof bowl over the top. But you want to make sure that the bottom of the bowl does not touch the water. Otherwise, it scorches the chocolate. Chocolate burns. Gross. We got that going on. Now let's head over to the stove so we can bring this to a simmer, add our chocolate, and cook it up. My water is up to a simmer, and as you can see, it's not boiling. I want it nice and gentle because I want to heat the chocolate nice and gently. Now put my bowl over, my chocolate chips in here, with my two teaspoons of flavorless vegetable oil, and just very gently heat this up. It'll take about five, six, seven minutes, around then. I'm just going to just turn these in the oil just to coat them evenly. And as you can see, it's already starting to melt. See that? My chocolate chips are perfectly melted. And I just make sure, you want to make sure you stick near, near your stove when you're doing this because if you walk away, 30 seconds can burn your chocolate. So just take it off the heat, stir it up. Last couple chocolate chips are just going to melt right in because it's nice and melted. And now let's go over to the counter so we can start dipping our strawberries. That's done. Get my strawberries close to me. I have a plate here with some wax paper. You can use parchment paper, whichever you have. And we're going to start dipping our strawberries. Now, I, let me show you this one. I dip mine, move this so you can see better. Get the chocolate to one side, nice and easy. Take your strawberry and just right in, about two thirds of the way in, because you want to be able to see the top of the strawberry. Look at that, thick, it's perfect, it's exactly what I want. Just like that. And as you can see, there's already, you can already start to see a shine on the chocolate, and that is from the vegetable oil, and it adds absolutely no flavor whatsoever. So you just want to work kind of quickly and dip all of your strawberries in there. Strawberries all coated in the chocolate. Find the urge to eat them right now. These need to cool at room temperature for about five minutes. Then we're going to put them in the fridge for 15 minutes and they'll be done. I'm just going to let these cool just for a little bit. I'm going to try not to eat them all, but it's really difficult because I love them. Okay. While those cool, I'm just going to clean up and I'm going to get back here to plate them up. My strawberries are absolutely perfect. I let these cool on the counter for five minutes, in the fridge for 15, and they're just as I want them. Nice and firm. And the chocolate doesn't crack because we let it cool, we let them cool at room temperature first, and then we put them in the fridge, which is the way to go. Look at that they slide right off. Now you can make them perfectly in your own home, and you don't have to go to any fancy place to buy them. And you can make them however you like them. You like milk chocolate like I do? Coat them in milk chocolate. Bittersweet chocolate person? Bittersweet chocolate. A little in between? Semi sweet. Totally, totally optional. Done to your liking. I hate to say this, but this isn't gonna make it. Mmm. Mmm. That is one of my guiltiest pleasures in life. It's so good. Mmm. 
and it doesn't crack. See how the chocolate stays on when the strawberry doesn't crack? Partly it's because of the way we cooled them, we let them set, and partly it's because of the vegetable oil. Maybe a little, a little bit of moistness in there. So it's not all chocolate and it hardens really, really, like really hard, and then by the time you bite into it, the rest of the chocolate kind of breaks and falls off. Uh-uh. Mmm. I don't need this whole plate. Valentine's Day is coming up. Make your sweetie happy. Whip up these fantastic little chocolate treats. You're gonna love them. You're going to impress absolutely anybody. Isn't they beautiful? Now remember, to get this recipe and another recipe, check out my website, www.learn... Wait, where's my music? Better, it's better. www.learnandkitchen.com. See you next time. Bye.